I recently featured a video on how to turn on and off crosshair highlights in Excel like this. I'll leave the link in the description for all my crosshair highlight tips, but someone had inquired if I can demonstrate how to turn on only rows or column, and here's how you do it. The first thing you have to do is to extend our list. Right now our list has only got on and off, so I'm going to go all the way. I'm going to say um, row and column like this. So I got two more entries on my list box. So extend the list box. You go to this list box here. Make sure you're in the data tabs here. And then go data validation, data validation. In here, make sure you're still on the list. You click on this and you basically highlight the four cells and click OK. Now when you do that, you should see four entries on your pull down menu like this. So the next thing we're going to have to do is to um, modify the conditional formatting formula. Press Ctrl A to select the whole data set like this. Go to Home, Style, Conditional Formatting, Manage Rules. In here, this yellow highlight, which is the center highlight, as you can see here, we're going to leave them as it is. But the formula that we're going to change would be the column to start off with. Here, you're going to say OR. And then we're going to keep this as it is. But I'm going to copy this thing here so that I don't have to type. And right after the double quote, we're going to say comma. We're going to paste that. And now we're going to say column and close parenthesis and click OK. We're going to do the same thing for rows. You're going to say all again, open parenthesis, comma. But this time around, we're going to say row like that and click OK. And OK one more time. Now let's test it from the pull down menu. If you go row, only rows are highlighted as you can see. And if you go and do column, only columns are highlighted. And of course, your on and off will still work. When you go on, everything comes on. When you go off, all the crosshairs off.